it's snowing. It was actually snowing more earlier. Yeah, that thing got kicked out. Okay, well, anyways. So I decided, I figured it wouldn't take long. Okay, so this car sucks. That transmission is done. That was the one I was, I mean, you know, just working on. Uh, before I put the valve body on, I did air check the servo. I was going to use the Transgo servo, but I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to put that servo in and just see what it does. And it's fine. Um, my concern with it is because I ground the pin. I was afraid the clearance was just going to be either too much. Well, I was actually afraid it was going to be too much, but it turns out it's actually fine. Um, air checked it. Uh, and then I use just a slip yoke that's, you know, off of a drive shaft. I actually have it sticking out of a converter right there. Not that anybody cares, but I just use that. Now, granted, turning it by hand is a lot different than, you know, being in a car. But we all know that. But it's holding. You know, you apply air and then the drum, it stops the drum. So that transmission, I'm pretty sure it's done. As you may or may not already know, I forgot if I said it, but I did air check the forward and direct on the bench. And yeah, the servo before the valve body went on. So that transmission, I'm pretty confident in. This transmission, I said, screw it. I'm just going to tear it apart. It's not going to take long. It seriously only took me like maybe 45 minutes to tear it apart. The valve body was already off, but the separator plate and the one two accumulator was still on and the pump was already pulled. Um, what took me so long is because the bullet for the speedometer was seized in there. So I got that out. It's completely ruined. Um, so I'm going to have to find a new one. No surprise, the band is completely toast. Um, I'm really surprised that fourth and the overrun clutch, those are actually okay. They're a little, you know, crispy, but I was surprised they're not, wor I'm surprised they're not looking like that. And then, uh, yeah, okay, forward, or wait, no. Yeah, I think that's forward. They're a little toasty too, not bad. Um, you can see some hot spots on the steels. You could buff these out and then just reuse them, but I'm just gonna probably buy a whole new master kit or something. Direct, direct's not too bad. The whole reason why I knew this transmission was toast is because this is low reverse. Look at that delamination. You got clutch there, it's all off there. Same with this one. Um, it's been hot spotted. I mean, you, I mean, it's just terrible. And the apply piston. It's blown out. My tranny's blown out. So I'm not surprised. I mean, I knew about this because this, when I had the pan off, you can see that section in this window right here. So, and then I just had uh, pieces of friction just falling out and they would just end up in the pan. I wouldn't be surprised at all if there was still some on the ground. But I'm pretty much done for this. I'm probably not gonna be able to wash that case for at least another week just because the weather is, you know, kind of shit. But, um, oh shit, I still didn't pull out that surf. Okay, bye.